Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can copy, transfer, or import photos or pictures from your iPhone 13 series to Windows computer. Now, before we begin on your Windows computer, first make sure that you have already installed iTunes. Okay, so on my computer, you can see I have installed the latest version of iTunes. So make sure that you install the latest version of iTunes available from Microsoft App Store or you can download a copy directly from the Apple website. So make sure you install the latest version of iTunes first on the Windows computer. Next, using the USB cable, connect to your iPhone. Now you may need to use the USB cable with this plug and this one does not come with your iPhone. So if you do not have this cable, uh, from your previous iPhone model, then you need to purchase this um, USB cable separately. Now, alternatively, um, with newer computer, some computer already have USB-C port, so you can just plug directly into your computer. Because my computer is quite old, so I have to use the old cable that I have with my older model. Now, once connected, make sure you unlock your iPhone. So on the lock screen, put in the passcode and unlock your iPhone. Uh, for the first time, connecting your iPhone to the computer. Uh, when your phone prompt trust this computer, tap on trust or allow button to continue so that the computer can access photos on your iPhone. Now you can use Windows Photos app uh, to import photos into the app. But in this video, I will show you how you can uh, simply uh, transfer or copy files uh, for, um, photos or videos uh, from iPhone directly to your Windows uh, folder. Okay, another thing that you need to do is that if you have iCloud photo, uh, photos turned on, then you need to set your phone to download the full um, resolution, the original version. So you can go into settings. In settings, you want to tap on your Apple ID, then tap on iCloud then tap on photos so if iCloud photos turn on you want to download and keep originals so you select that option now it may take some time for all the photos on uh, iCloud to download back to your device so give it some time before you transfer the photos to the computer now if you don't do this uh, you may have in, you may have trouble uh, copy photos to the Windows computer okay so now let's uh, begin uh, first, let's go back to the home screen and again, make sure that you plug in your computer, your iPhone to the computer with this USB cable. Okay, and on the computer, I'm going to open up this PC on my computer. And then we're going to open up Apple iPhone, then open up internal storage, open up DSIM, and all of your photos are in photos by the month and by the year. So if you want to copy everything, you can uh, copy all of them over to your computer. Now I'm just going to open up a folder just to show you some photos on my iPhone. So these are the photos on the iPhone at the moment. So instead of copying everything, I'm just going to copy a few because um, there's quite a lot of them. It will take quite a long time to copy them over. So right click on the mouse and we click on copy. So you can either click on copy or drag it into a folder. And on the Windows computer, you want to open up the folder where you want to um, paste your uh, photos over. Okay, so I can open up another folder here. There are just multiple ways of doing the same things. And in here, I'm going to copy to iPhone 13 photos folder. This folder at the moment, it is uh, empty. So I can drag it over like this. And you can see it's copying over right now. Or we can uh, use the copy and paste button. So I can right click on the mouse, click on copy. Then over here, I can right click and then click on paste. Now it says because the file is already there, do you want? Do I want to uh, overwrite? So I'm going to click on cancel. And instead, I will choose uh, different photos or videos. So here I go. A few photos and videos. I'm going to right click and click on copy from the context menu. Then I go to my folder on my computer and I right click on the mouse and then click on paste. 
okay so now that works now again remember some of the things that i told you earlier uh, the prerequisite is that you need to have iTunes and make sure that your photos uh, is not on iCloud. It has already been downloaded to your iPhones in the original format. Uh, if you don't do that, you might have a problem copying photos over to your Windows computer. Okay, so that is quite easy and uh, straightforward. The other option is you can import photos using the, uh, the Photos app on Windows to import it in. So let me just quickly open up uh, the Photos app on Windows. Okay, so this is the Photos app. I can click on Album and I can create a new album. And you say here, Create New Album. And in here I can uh, choose. So let me just uh, put in a new name. Okay, so when Create a New Album, we can click on Import. And then we can choose a folder or for my connected device. Again, it will look for the connected device. And here is all the photos from my iPhone. So in here it shows all items or items since last import. So you can see here I can choose all or I can simply select by the month or I can um, select one by one like this. So I can just click on the checkbox and imp import them in. And so I'm just going to import six out of 226 items okay so now it is important to the photos app on windows so this really depends on how you use um, photos on your computer if you normally use the photos uh, the photos app on windows then you can import it in using this method otherwise if you're just simply using the windows folder you can uh, copy directly from your iphone folder to the windows folder and this is now copying the last items. It's quite long, could be a video file. Okay, so it seems to be taking some time or either it's crashing or the video file is quite large. But that is basically how you can uh, import it to um, a Windows uh, Photos app. And the main focus here is to um, not copy into the Photos app, but I wanted to show you how you can copy directly into the Windows uh, folder, which is a lot easier as well. And here is the photos uh, on the iPhone, right here. So this is another one right here. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.